Seoul and its surrounding areas are where the most COVID-19 cases imported from overseas are based. An increasing number of Korean students studying overseas is being found to have been affected with the virus after coming back to Korea. And now the imported cases account for the largest portion of coronavirus infections confirmed in the metropolitan area. This is why it is never enough to stress the importance of self-isolation for those coming in from overseas. Located in Gangnam-gu district in Seoul, this high-rise apartment consists of seven buildings and houses 2,500 families. Four COVID-19 cases, two people who recently returned from overseas and two of their family members were confirmed in two of the buildings. <laughs> Disinfection work has been completed on building entrances, elevators and parking lots. The Kangnam District Office has decided to conduct coronavirus tests on all residents of the two buildings. Nine out of ten cases confirmed in Kangnam-gu District over the last two days are those returning from overseas and their families. Across Seoul, 15 out of 24 confirmed cases are those who returned from abroad. Of the returnees, nine came back from the US and three from the UK. Three others were from Brazil, Thailand and Spain. A total of 413 infections have been confirmed in Seoul as of Sunday and among them 112 were imported cases. The imported cases now outnumber infections reported from a call centre in Kurogu district in southwestern Seoul. The number of imported cases is expected to increase for the time being. 이런 그 내국인들의 귀국으로 인한 그 해외 유입 사례에 대한 부분들이 상당수 전체 환자에서 어 상당 부분 한 40% 이상 정도는 차지할 수 있을 것 같습니다. The number of secondary and tertiary infections is also rising. In Kwanaku district, infections were also reported in the parents of a COVID-19 patient who was confirmed after returning from the US. The government is again urging people returning from overseas to self-isolate warning that violations will result in harsh punishment.